Inventory counting is the recurrent activity in every item-based business. SAP Business One 9.0 has a new end-to-end -end inventory counting process to provide a dynamic way for counting and posting stock quantity differences and to view the counting and corresponding posting records. Jason Butler from OEC Computers would like to set up an annual inventory cycle count for selected items for his company. To do this, he navigates to the administration menu, he selects Setup, Inventory, and Inventory Cycles. Here he is able to set up his inventory cycle, but first he needs to define a cycle code. To define the frequency of the cycle count, Jason selects annually as a sequence. The system automatically suggests a date and time for the start of the cycle count. And now we can add this setup to the system. The next step is to define which warehouse and item group will be included in the cycle count. To do this, Jason navigates to the cycle count determination window. He then selects his warehouse that he would like to include in his cycle count, Warehouse 1, and then he selects the item groups that he would like to count, such as rainbow printers, and then assigns a cycle code next to the item group. He then clicks on the Alert checkbox. By assigning an alert against the item group set up for the cycle count, the person responsible will receive an alert in their message inbox if it is time for an inventory count. Now we have set up the inventory cycle details for this annual inventory count. Jason has subsequently received a notification in his inbox that an inventory count is due. He selects the message and the alert details show which items from which warehouse should be counted. Jason is able to pick up a task by selecting the items to prepare for counting and then clicks on inventory counting. We are now in the inventory counting window that contains all of the information for this cycle count of this item. Jason has requested help with the cycle count, so he selects two inventory counters for this stock take. Jason then enters the name of the second inventory counter, who happens to be Fred Beyer. By doing this, you can see that one more column has been added to the inventory counting window, which will capture the count results of the second stock taker. Jason now wants to freeze the item that will be counted to ensure that the item is blocked from any business process until this item has been counted and the relevant postings made. And now we can add the inventory counting document to the system. Now the inventory counting document is ready, it can be printed out for the stock takers to fill out accordingly. This is the inventory counting sheet that will be printed out for both stock takers to use and to input their information. The cycle count has now taken place and the results now have to be entered into the inventory counting document. To do this, we navigate to inventory, the inventory menu, inventory transactions, inventory counting transactions, and we select inventory counting. We then navigate to the last record that we created. Now that the inventory counting window is open, we navigate to the counter one count field and we enter the count of 69 printers. Fred only counted 68 printers, so we update the counter two count field with 68. And then we update the document. The system automatically highlights the row in red to signal that the counted results don't match. Jason actually recounted the stock and confirmed that Fred's count was correct. 
So now we can copy the results to an inventory posting. To do this, we go to Copy to Inventory Posting and we select the Count to Count results. The inventory posting window appears and we can now add this posting document to the system. Given that the printers are serial managed items, we have to select a serial number for the two missing printers to be posted to the system. So we do this by selecting the, from the available serial numbers and click Update and then OK. Now we can add the inventory posting to the system which finalises this inventory counting process. Jason would now like to preview the results from the Inventory Counting Transactions report. To do this, he navigates to the Inventory menu, Inventory Reports, and finds the Inventory Counting Transactions report. The selection criteria window offers many parameters that you can filter by. In this case, we will use the default parameters and click OK. You can see from this report what has been counted, when and where it was counted, and the actual variance result. The key benefits to this new end-to-end -end stock counting process in SAP Business One 9.0 is that it provides greater reporting accuracy for overall inventory management and supports a much more dynamic and transparent counting and inventory posting process. The whole process is much more flexible from setting up count cycles to posting corrections of stock take records.